very tough. Please. Two questions for you, Mr. No, President. Please. Mr. President. Two questions for you. Yeah, I didn't call you. I called this gentleman. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, on Monday, you uh, with? did you speak with? Who you with? Uh, I'm with Bloomberg. Yeah. Uh, Bloomberg means Mario Parker. How's Michael doing? Good. <laughs> Uh, Mr. President, um, on Monday, uh, did you speak with Chinese President uh, Xi before you urged uh, Americans to not blame Asian Americans for the uh, coronavirus? We noticed that you've backed off of that language. I know you're speaking with him again No, tonight. I didn't. I'm speaking to him tonight. Uh, it's scheduled to go tonight. I'll have a call with President Xi of China. Uh, very good relationship. No, I didn't like when they uh, came up, and it, I, it wasn't him. Somebody at a lower level, mid-level, we found out, pretty much. But they made a statement that our soldiers brought it into China. Now, it came from China. And, uh, you know, we just signed a very big deal with China. Uh, they're paying us a lot of money in tariffs and other things. They never paid us 10 cents. Look, China has taken advantage of the United States until I came here with uh, Sleepy Joe Biden and Obama and Bush and everybody else. I'm not blaming them. I'm blaming everybody. They were allowed to — $500 billion a year they were taking out. We had trade deficits that were so large, nobody's ever seen anything like it. And uh, we've changed it. Look, now we're taking in billions of dollars, and we gave some to our farmers because China, you know, they targeted our farmers. And our farmers are very happy. And, and our farmers got through a very rough period because of what I was able to do. Took the money from China and gave it to the farmers. And we had plenty left over after that. Now we're going into a phase two negotiation with China. But we're getting 25 percent on $250 billion. And then we're getting a lot on money after that. So we've never had a deal with China. They, China took advantage of the United States. And you know what? I don't blame China for that. I blame the people that were right here, because they should have never allowed it to happen. But the relationship with China has been a very good one. John? Mr. President, did President Xi ask you to, to, to calm that language down or to, to not use that? He language? never asked me to calm it down. No. Somebody might have spoken to somebody, but nobody spoke to me about it. Mr. President, I think it was time, though, because, you know, I talk about the Chinese virus. And, uh, and I mean it. That's where it came from. You know, if you look at Ebola, if you look at all the Lyme, right, Lyme, Connecticut, you look at all these different horrible diseases, they seem to come with the name with the location. And this was uh, the Chinese virus. But I don't have to say it if they feel so strongly about it. We'll see. But, you know, we have um, we just made a great deal with China, great hopefully for both parties, but we made a deal with China and we're going to do another one, it looks like. They want to do it very badly. Maybe they'll want to wait, like Iran. They want to wait to see whether or not Trump gets beaten in the election, because would they love to negotiate with Biden or somebody else other than me? They would love it. That's their best dream in the world. So many others. So there are some that maybe are, you know, waiting till after November 3rd, the election day. Uh, but I think we're doing very well. Uh, it would be sad if we blew all of the advantages that we have right now, because we've made unbelievable trade deals, whether it's Mexico, Canada, Japan, South Korea, China, and others. Uh, we, have, we have changed the whole thing around. Please. Mr. President, earlier today, you said